blew him in pieces. There was not much left of him. And knocked me down, and the shrapnel hit all around me, but not me. It didn't go into me. You could see my, my, uh, my outline of shrapnel, but it didn't hit me. And these went on and on and on a whole year. I never thought I was going to make it out of there, except I just trusted God. You want me to take me home, Lord? If not, I'm going to do what you say. And he brought me out of that mess, and I'm still here standing, and uh, I'm so thankful to God. So one, one more I want to tell you real quick. Uh, in 1999, Jackie and I were married. We were married 52 years. Um, our youngest son, who was at the time just turned 21, um, we were up in Ohio getting our mother out of intensive care because she had bypass surgery. And so we finally, after a week up there, we said, we got to get back. I, had, I owned a big company. I, uh, we had here a staffing company. And um, Jackie and I started back, and we were in the mountains in Kentucky. And I had a car phone. This was before cell phones. And um, the car phone went off, and it was my daughter-in-law, and she said, Dad, get off the road. I thought she was going to tell us Jackie's mom died. Well, Mike had been hit by a guy who ran a red light, crushed his car, almost killed him and his best friend. They had to cut the car in two to get him out. He was six foot eight. Um, they life flighted him, and we're driving all the way back from Kentucky. Jackie kept saying, go charter a plane. I said, honey, before I find a place to charter a plane, we'll be there. And I just prayed in the spirit. I just prayed in the spirit flying down the highway. The doctor kept calling me and let me know what's going on. We got there. They said, uh, we don't think he's going to make it. I said, doctor, he's going to make it. He's not going to make it. Just make it. God's going to heal him. They thought I was a nutcase. These were nice people. But I just wouldn't. I refused. And uh, so this went on. He was in a coma for three weeks. And they kept telling us, this is it. You're going to have to. Do something about this. So Mike opened his eyes, but he was a vegetable. And uh, so we had some opening. It's very hard to get in there. We got him in the Shepherd Spinal Center downtown. And uh, so they had him for an assessment for about a week. They called Jackie and I and said, your son is going to be a vegetable the rest of his life. You are going to need to get a nursing home with 24-7 care. And Jackie said, he's not going to be. He's coming home with us. And she said, and they said, you couldn't do it. If everybody in your church helped, you couldn't handle all the shifts. He needs 24-7 care, and he's never going to get better. I said, I've tried to tell you over and over, guys, you don't have any faith. God's going to heal my son. I mean, they really thought at this point I was nothing. <laughs> so um, about two weeks later, for the first time, Jackie and I used to go in every morning on the way to the office and uh, see Mike. And... She just looked at me and said, honey, I'm just too tired. I can't go. i got to sleep. I said, sleep. I'll see him. So I went down there. And my, they had him in a six-foot-eight crib because he was six-foot-eight. And uh, I walked in like I always do. I'm standing over him. And he's just drooling out the side of his mouth. And all of a sudden he goes, hi, Dad. Just like that. I said, thank you, Lord. And they came running in. The nurses were crying. They said, we just don't see this down here. Yeah. Mike spent the next two weeks of getting his legs where he could walk again in a wheelchair, pushing with his legs up and down the hall. Parents were out in the hall with their vegetative kids. Mm -hmm. And he'd go up to them and say, that was me, look what Jesus did. Yeah. And they still talk about Mike down there. Yeah. This is 20 years later, 22 years later. Um, he made such an impression on going around talking about what Jesus had done for him. Yeah. So it's faith. It has nothing to do with the person. It's him believing in his faith. And we don't always get what we want. But don't ever not stay in faith. Thank you for having me. Oh, I forgot one thing. If you want to join uh, Full Gospel, I've got some applications here. It's uh, $40 a year, and if you're over 65, it's $30 a year is all the membership is. We'd like to get some new members. If, uh, if your old members want to come back or if you've never been a full gospel businessman, you can join this chapter, and we'd love to have you. Thanks. Amen.